when you start start the screen editor you get two choices the animation editor or the console editor the console editor just edits a console that you can save out and then load back in while the animation editor creates uh, frames and XML format for uh, the engine's entity system by default the console editor is sized to a console that is the same as this program so if we center it by the borders you'll see it takes up the entire space this one there we go and that obviously might not be the console size of your game so you can edit this and change it to something a little more manageable let's say 60 by 30 there so if your game screen was that size then this is where you could draw out your you know frames so if you're making some sort of roguelike or role playing game that had uh, you know a text area then you could start drawing that so for example let's do a bar all the way across the bottom this would be where perhaps uh, some messages would go so there's two tools there's the dropper which will suck up whatever character so I, and then automatically switch to the paint tool so I picked up a blank so that I can erase that and then anytime you use the character select window which um, opens up as a modal window so you can't do anything in the back here it anytime you change the character or you change what the current color is and close it it automatically add a new character to the quick bar at the bottom so for example let's do the area where you normally have your stats so let's get the correct crossbar this one as you can see now it's at the bottom so if we hit that there then let's add a new character where's the up and down right there and then you could do this all the way up to the top so perhaps this is the character's name, stats, blah, blah 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 and this would be the game map or something so this way you can easily create your user interfaces for your game and save them out to a file